battery powered cars are more popular than ever, and now even boats are getting on board. Dina Demetrius shows us how electric watercraft are sailing towards the future. Rising above the waters of San Francisco Bay, these electric hydrofoil speedboats make for smooth sailing. Not only it's electric, you're gliding above the water, so there is no seasickness. You don't feel the waves, it's like you're on a jet plane. Two companies, American Navier and Swedish Candela, are leading the charge to bring electric hydrofoil speedboats to city waterways, aiming to replace gas-guzzling water taxis with these electric hover wonders. It's like 10x cheaper than using a gas boat, so you can use it as a scalable waterborne transportation. It unlocks a potential, a new form of transportation that was never ever possible before. But these watercraft meet bumpy seas on two issues limited range and cost around $400,000. Just the amount of energy that it, that it takes to move a boat through the water and to propel a boat through a water requires a lot of batteries. As you add more batteries, you add costs. It gets worse the larger the boat gets. Still, Candela says it's already sold and manufactured 150 of its new C8 model. This boat is the, the future of leisure boating. It comes with some creature comforts too. You can spend the night here if you like. It's uh, cozy and uh, protected. The company also has more impactful goals on board. The mission at Candela is uh, really to, uh, to uh, create a big impact and uh, reduce uh, as much the CO2 emission. Candela is testing out its same technology on a 30 passenger catamaran as early as this summer. Well, a major fast food chain is saying thank you to food delivery workers in a new way by opening a space just for them in New York City. But as Bradley Blackburn reports, it's also a reminder about what is lost as more people take jobs in the gig economy. They are workers on two wheels, bringing meals to New Yorkers on the move every hour of the day. But here on the city's Upper East Side, there's a new place to stop. It's called The Break Room, opened in February by Chick-fil-A, where any delivery worker can get a free cup of coffee, charge their phone, or find a restroom. In its first week alone, hundreds showed up. You think you'll come often? Yes. Yes. Maybe every day? Yeah, maybe. No, every day. <laughs> no, maybe. Every day. They are grateful for comforts many traditional office workers might take for granted, but that are rare in the growing gig economy. Bank of America analysts project an economic slowdown this year could push a million more people into jobs making food deliveries for apps or driving for rideshare services. The vast majority of people work uh, at least six, uh, if not seven days a week. Andrew Wolf with Rutgers University studied app delivery workers in New York and found they often work in tough conditions for below minimum wage. With these apps, uh, where they're classified as independent contractors. They're not entitled to any of these rights. But there is another path. Take Revel, a rideshare startup hiring drivers as traditional employees. Behind the wheel of company-owned Teslas, they get paid breaks and benefits. So they get health benefits, they get access to dental benefits, they get access to a 401k. Revel says their employee drivers are more reliable and efficient, and it gives them an edge. Do you think this model is the way of the future, or some of the competitors. I think both. I think drivers deserve an option. A different way of working in a field that's moving fast. Well, it's National Dress Day, so our next guest is Michelle Barron, Executive Director of Dress for Success Buffalo. That's a nonprofit organization whose goal is to help women achieve economic independence. Michelle, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Tell me more about Dress for Success. Dress for Success is an organization that provides women with professional attire, career readiness programs to enter the workforce. So our primary focus is on the unemployed and underemployed women. So our goal is to create programs and resources and then tie in the professional attire for them to enter the workplace and to become self-sufficient. Walk me through what it's like if someone comes to you looking for your services. Sure. We are a referral-based agency, so we work with a lot of agencies throughout the city of Buffalo, and they refer their clients, so they basically do the prep work in terms of um, just helping them with the job search. And then once they secure the interview, then they refer them over to Dress for Success. 
we review their resumes, we, you know, have, uh, go over mock interviews or have mock interviews with them, and then we go into the professional attire. So, of course, everything is different now post-pandemic. Um, a lot of jobs, you know, we're not actually suiting um, our clients. We're, you know, providing them with you know, business, we call it business chic casual right now. So it may be a blazer, uh, a button down shirt and a pair of slacks and, you know, a pair of flats and we send them on their way and we give them um, a week's worth of clothing. So then that way, post, before the pandemic, they will come in, get a suit. And then once they secure the job, then they will come back and get a week's worth of clothing. Now we pretty much provide them with a capsule wardrobe Right at up the front. up front so that they have everything that they need in order to succeed to succeed that's amazing and yes. this is free for the clients that come into you everything is free that's amazing and how are you guys able to do so much for them um you know we have great donors uh, we are a not-for-profit so you know there's a lot of fundraising um, we have great funders that that support our programs and um, and then you know we have people that come out and they donate now we haven't received donations in a while because we are at capacity but of course you know the donors are the reason why we are able to provide our clients with um, the clothing that they need what has Dress for Success Buffalo been doing maybe differently than the other? Because this is worldwide. It's the world, success, yes, right? it is, it is. So right now our focus is on mobile. So we're doing, uh, we're, we started last year, it's called Boutique on Wheels. So we're able to go out into the communities and provide the same services uh, that we offer on Hurdle. We're able to go into the communities and provide those services to women in need. and. Our goal right now is pretty much to meet our clients where they are. So transportation is, is a barrier for a lot of our clients. So uh, we rent a U-Haul truck and we convert the U-Haul truck into a boutique and we take our show on the road and, and you know provide the services that they need. And we partner with um, different organizations. So under the tent, you may see um, Bank of America there. Um, with you know their staff with the mock interviews and uh, reviewing the resumes and then we'll have our uh, stylists inside of the U-Haul styling our clients getting them ready for job interviews. Now this is incredible because some people take for granted how privileged it is to be able to wear clothes to wear to an interview right that's not something that everyone feels like they have access to and it's not something that's something that impedes people from maybe trying to go out and get a job you're absolutely right um, you will be surprised by the number of people um, that don't have professional attire um, our organization focuses mainly I mean our goal is to help women, but men are also in need. They have the same needs as women. Um, our, we're just a global organization that focuses on women, but you would be surprised by the number of people um, that just don't, um, you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. So they show up to job interviews based on what they have, but um, this is an opportunity to you know, share the information that, hey, there is a free resource available to you. There's no reason why any woman in the city of Buffalo um, should go to a job interview and not have the appropriate attire because that's what we're there for. We're really there to help them. If someone's watching this right now and could really use your services, what is the first step they should do? They can call us um, and I'm sure you're going to provide all of, the, all of the contact information, but they can email us at buffalo at dressforsuccess.org. If you're not working with a referral agency and if you have proof um, that you are actually going on a job interview, then you know we can set you up for an appointment, bring you in, and um, you'll work with a stylist one-on-one, -on -one, and we can provide you with the necessary clothing that you need. And I know that a lot of people are really blown away and may have things in their home. What can they do to help you guys? Well, what they can do right now is hold on to those clothing <laughs> until we're able to move out um, our existing inventory. But I'm thinking probably April, May, we'll resume accepting clothing donations again. But uh, p before the pandemic, we had a lot of clothing and we didn't have a lot of clients coming through because people weren't out looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. So um, we're just now starting to turn the corner and people are really out um, looking for jobs right now. So now we're able to move out 
our existing inventory. So, yeah, we'll, we're just asking them to hold on, give us some time, and then once we resume uh, accepting clothing donations, then they can um, drop them off at the boutique, and we'll have all of that information on all of our social media outlets. And I'm sure you can, yeah, right now, people can give monetary donations. Oh, absolutely. We're <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> we are a 501c3. Um, so, yes, they can always um, donate, um, make financial donations uh, to Dress for Success. Uh, you're absolutely right. We are a 501c3. Everything that we do is based on grant writing and, and fundraising. So, um, you know, whatever we can get, that's, you know, that helps us with our programming. Well, thank you. The, the saying goes, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. And absolutely. you are absolutely dressing the 716 area women to have success. So oh, we appreciate I appreciate what you're that. doing. Thank you. Uh, dress for Success Buffalo is located at 1256. 56 Hurdle Ave right here in Buffalo, or you can visit their Facebook page at Dress for Success Buffalo. I'm sure that's where you can find their email to get in contact yes. with them. Still to come, looking for the perfect space to have a bridal shower, an intimate wedding, or just an evening with friends? Well, we've got you covered. Stick with, stick with us. More on this is coming up after the break.